Hello friends, my name is Sumit and you are watching CTX Cloud Tech videos. This is a video number 6 in our web training series. So in our last video, I have added like a complete OU of Active Directory into the web services. So here inside Active Directory objects, I have added a add OU and I have added the OU for the server MCS server VDS. So now you guys can see that it's a default site. So I have added these uh, uh, servers into the default sites. But this is not recommended if you have like different business units. So you guys can create the separate unit for your business units. So click on uh, after that you have to click on create. And let me go inside my XTC server. So let me log in here. So inside this XTC server you guys can see that I have I am going into the delivery groups and just wait so now you guys can see that i have two delivery groups here so for the windows server 2019 i have created the delivery group dgctx win 2k19 prod mcs so i am going get, uh, taking the name from here so that i can create the units inside vam on the base of delivery groups so click here and i'm giving the name is dgctx win 2k19 prod mcs and i'm giving the same name for the description click on create so after that just wait let me let's it's created so if you guys will scroll down here so you guys can see that i have added a one business unit here so this is dg ctx win 2k19 prod and inside this there is no machine added so if i will try to add the same ou here so it will give the error because i have already added those servers into the default configuration so let me show you if I, you will go here servers vda mcs click on ok and in the right side you guys can see that warning action error while creating the action item I, action item is already exist in another field so let me go inside my default sites so i am going to remove this from the default site so click right click or you guys can click click on delete click on yes so now these servers are removed from my default site and after that i am adding this on the based on the delivery group so dgctx 2k19 which is on my this delivery group so here i am going to add that ou so click on add ou right click and here inside citrix vda so i have the server vda mcs click on ok so now you guys can see that i have added a ou here and if you guys will go inside this administration part and if you guys will go into the agents and you guys can see that all my three servers are showing you guys can see that this is my jelf server 010203 so all my servers are showing here so this is the ip address they have and this is inside uh, it's showing default site the last connection is connected and synchronization state is still in the question mark so i have to give some time so that they can sync with this web server and you guys can see that these are recently connected so sometime it will take some time to resync with this server uh, maybe like 10 to 15 minutes so that's the average time to sync with this web server so another thing is how you guys can uh, i mean configure the agent via group policy so in my previous video i have shown a manual method how you guys can install the web agent and you guys can uh, give the web inf infrastructure de uh, server details while installing but in this video we are going to use the gpo group policy and uh, we are going to manage these web agents via group policy so the first thing you have to do is uh, you have to go in your active directory and after that you have to go on your policy definition folder which is inside windows and then see windows and then policy definitions okay so if you guys will go here you guys can see that two types of file admx and ADML so any group policy is the combination of ADMX and ADML file so for that I am going to copy the same policy uh, I mean files for which is provided by the, by the Citrix so just press Windows plus E just give me a second so just minimize it again go to I mean any folder let me press windows windows plus r c dollar and here inside iso i have the files which is agent group policy so this is the files which you will get with the iso of wem 
so here you guys can go into admx and there is two files here same with adml and admx so you guys have it, have that adml and admx so both the files you have to copy from here just copy and make sure paste the files whatever it it is if it is a admx then paste it paste into the admx uh, folder here so inside pol policy definition i outside of this en us us paste the admx file here i have pasted here now again i am going inside this en us and paste co copy all the adml file and paste it in, into policy definition en us folder so just paste it now close this all the wizard so i am going into group policy management gpmc.msc so just maximize here so inside this domain i have like citrix i have the organization unit uh, citrix so guys every policy is binded with a organize or it means ou organizational unit you cannot bind the policy on a group or on a user so inside vda i have to go on random vdi mcs so i have more vdas i mean virtual machines here which is windows 10 vda so i'm going to bind the vem on my windows 10 vdas right now so for that again i have to go here right click create click a g create a group policy object here name is vem hyphen agent hyphen policy click on ok so here i have just click right click here click on edit just maximize it go to computer configuration then policies then administration after that you have to go on citrix components and then the workspace environment manager so click here the first option is infrastructure server so the same infrastructure server you have to given when in my previous video i have given vem.ctxcloud.in so same infrastructure server you have to given here if you have load balance your vem servers so just right click click on edit click on enable and give the server name which is vem.ctxcloud.in click on ok so this is enabled now so vem agent service port so vem agent service port is click on enable and it is a284 uh, i think let me check on my netscaler go to my netscaler here which is ns1.ctxcloud.in and let me find out the port so inside traffic management load balancing virtual server and for the agent admin agent is a286 so this is the port a286 so the same port i am giving here a286 and a284 is the ad for the admin admin console so click on ok after that cache say synchronization port click on edit and same i am going to check this port on my netscaler which is uh, vem cache sync lb is a288 which is again i am giving enable a288 click on ok so that is fine if you have the uh, like using cloud citrix cloud then you guys can give the here citrix cloud connector names again if you have the like azure subscription so the proxy configuration you can do here apart from that there is nothing to do you guys can go with the default configuration and click on close and that's it i have applied this policy now you guys have to open your master image for the windows 10 so i'm opening here windows 10 click on power power on so it will take like one or two minutes to power on meanwhile i'm going to pause this video so guys my machine is powered on now so this is the master image for windows 10 st standard so let me go inside this vm which is ctx cloud slash administrator and then password
So meanwhile, it is loading. Let me mount the VM ISO inside this VM. So right click here, click on edit. Click on CD DVD drive. Click on data store ISO. Click on NFS ISO. And here Citrix VM 1912 ISO. Click on OK. Click on connected. Click on OK. And here now I am inside my Windows 10. So just wait. So now it's loaded. So click on File Explorer. So I have again I have to go inside this PC. Right click, click on Open. And here inside VAM Environment Manager, I have to install the VAM agent here. So right click, click on Run as Administrator. I have to accept all the terms and conditions by Citrix. Click on Install. So now it's it is installing the VAM agent on this master image. So click on Next. So this is the default location for the VAM agent. Click on Next. So I'm using on-premises deployment. So click on OK. Click on Next. And this is like guys most important step. So if you guys are doing the manual configuration of your VAM agent, so you have guys have to enter the VAM infrastructure server here. But this time I have done via group policy. So I have to click here, skip configuration, select the option if you want to configure the setting via group policy. So in my previous video, I have shown this method configure infrastructure service services as a manual method and this time we are using the group policy so i have already created a group policy for this uh, ou and click on next click on next and click on install So after that, click, uh, the installation has completed now. Click on finish. Click on close. After that, unmount the ISO from here. So right click on this machine. Click on edit. And here inside data store, click on client device. Click on OK. Again, I am go going inside my Windows 10. So just check if ISO is not there. So yeah, that's unmounted. So after that, click on run type cmd and type gp update slash force and do one more time okay now just reboot this master VM once so that it can uh, I mean properly populate the all the settings inside this uh, master image so meanwhile guys it is restarting let me check my servers if all the servers get populated here so let me try refresh so you guys can see that one server gets synced properly which is ctx sdr server 01 and it's you guys can now see that earlier it was showing default site and now it has changed automatically with the dg ctx win 2k19 prods mcs and synchronization state is up i mean pro pro perfectly fine with one server and maybe in next few minutes another server get populated or synchronized synchronized properly so if it, it doesn't just try to reboot your servers so let me try to reboot the servers and let me go here let me try to reboot my another server so just here click on restart guest os and third one is also power restart guest os yes So my Windows 10 let I mean taking a little bit time to come up. So just wait next two to three minutes. So guys, now my Windows 10 is back after reboot. So let me log in here. 
I am entering the password for the admin. Now just shut down this machine so that we can take the snapshot and update on the machine catalog. So click on shut down. So guys shutdown has been completed for this master VM. After that you guys have to take the snapshot, click on right click, click on snapshot, click on take a snapshot and I am giving their name after VAM installation click on ok so my snapshot has been completed now after that you guys have to go on your XTC server and go on machine catalog so just wait so this is uh, the machine catalog for my Windows 10 which is Win 10 standard I have to right click click on update machines so I am going to select all the four machines here click on next here you guys have to select the master VM so just select here and this is after VAM installation on Windows 10 click on next so I'm giving his immediately and restart the machines click on next click on finish so you guys can see that it start updating the machines and just wait and let me refresh you guys can start it start cloning the V disk for the uh, MCS images so it will take some time so meanwhile I'm going to pause this video so this cloning is still in progress so meanwhile let me create an uh, create an <coughs> configuration sets a new configuration set for the Windows 10 so click on create and I have to give the name so go to my XTC server and here I am selecting this go to the delivery group and select this delivery group for the windows 10 click on rename so i'm just uh, using this option to copy the whole delivery group so click on cancel after that again you have to go on your web server so again i am giving this description dgctx win 10 standard code click on ok so just wait now you guys can see that i have two uh, configuration sets here first one is windows server 2019 and this time i'm selecting windows 10 pro so inside this uh, active directory objects i have to go on machines i have to add ou select this ou is random vdi mcs click on ok so now i have added another ou for this windows 10 standard now i have to go on administration go to the agents and still i can see only three uh, servers here on the registration tab it is still showing gelf 010203 so i have to wait guys until my mcs updation get completed so we will meet in our next video because it will take like another one i mean 30 to 40 minutes to update all the machines so just stay connected with the ctx cloud and subscribe my channel and if you guys have any questions, so just put into the comment section. So I will try to reply. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys.